Hello, my name is Michael. I am running the Board Games Chronicle blog, and today I am bringing to you The Dark Summer, a game from GMT Games by Ted Racer, author of uh, Paths of Glory, but also other games in this series. Uh, actually, before The Dark Summer, you had a Dark Valley, uh, which was uh, focused on the Eastern Front. Uh, you had also the Dark Suns, which was the uh, campaign in the Africa. Now we would have a battle for Normandy, because this game does not cover only D-Day and a couple of days, weeks after it, but up till August 21st. So the majority of the fight which took place on the French soil, yeah, after the Allied invasion. We have a very nice graphic here, I like it. And now let us have a look what we have inside of the box. First and foremost, rules of play. Uh, they are not overly complex and there are not too many of them, yeah? 23 pages. Uh, this is in essence a cheat pool game. Each turn, uh, both sides, Germans, and the allies get a finite number of cheats which they draw from the action pool. There are two exceptions to this. The first initiative cheat for the allies are played out of hand and also there are some reaction cheats for Germans which can be used uh, to, 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 to react to the allied moves. Let's see what we have in the rules of play. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward rule book. What I like about it is that there are people familiar with previous uh, installments of the series. Uh, you have a summary, what has changed. Zone of controls, yeah. landings. Uh, these are the cheats you can draw. Exactly. Uh, this is not an overly complex game, but it's also not uh, the entry level game yeah let's say it's a war game which needs some 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 experience of course okay this is a nice a rule book and a nice paper yeah we like it then we have of course a playbook do you recognize this guy yeah Erdin Rommel in in Normandy exactly in the playbook we will have an example extended example of play uh, here we see the landings on a British and on American beaches it shows what the units can do. We'll not be going through too many days, and we will have some designer notes. I really like and appreciate when designer puts a lot of effort into explaining the choices made in the games. Uh, I think we as war gamers are playing war ga those games not only for the sake of I don't know game, but also the historical learning, and then teaching to others. So the design no, designer knows also provides some insight at some choices made. I, I strongly encourage you to, to read. Whenever you have designer notes in the games, read them. They are fantastic. So these are the tokens manifest, cheats manifest, and that will be all. Now, what do we have here? We have here a uh, player aid, yeah? We have two players, so two player aids. A combat resolution table. I know that some of the war gamers would like to see less of those, but I still think this is one of the quickest, easiest, and, and most straightforward resolutions in those games. A terrain chart, okay, fine. Second card of a player eight, which can be used by both sides. Now, the tokens. Okay, what do we have here? Here we have the allies, so we have the American forces. Uh, we have the British and Commonwealth forces, and I have to point out, we have also the Polish Panzer Division, yeah, which was in Normandy, and which was fighting, for example, at Falaise, and uh, being instrumental to the destruction of the German forces, especially the SS Panzer Division. Okay, let's move on. Now we have the German tokens mainly, uh, the Wehrmacht and the SS. These are the control tokens. Uh, there will be some hidden uh, units, uh, mainly representing uh, the coastal defenses. 
and also the weather, of course. Second side, the reduced. I think a lot of counters clipping in front of me. I would like those to look much, much nicer. Now we have a map. Uh, Ted Riser uh, usually have games with uh, paper maps, not mounted maps. A couple of reasons for this. First of all, you can get those games at really, really reasonable prices. So this really helps to drive the cost down. And I think most of the people still appreciate such map for, for this kind type of game. So what do we have here? We have a landing zones, yeah, the beaches, Omaha, Utah, Gold, and so on. And then we have a deeper uh, part of the, of the map. There is no Sherbrooke. Uh, it would take too much effort to, to, to put the Sherbrooke here. Uh, here we have a short reference of the terrain and tracks. And uh, here we have uh, the eastern part of the map. Falles is here. Yeah, can here. Okay, let me take the map out. And on top of this, we have one die, yeah, six sides. So this is all regarding the components of the game. I'm really curious how that one will play. I love cheat pool mechanism. I know that the author uh, is fantastic as far as the designs are concerned. A lot of good ideas, a lot of interesting choices, interesting solutions. So um, stay tuned. Uh, I will come back with a session report. This game is suitable both for the solitary play, cheat pool mechanism really allows you to do this, and also for the two player game. So I, I am sure I will be with you with both types of, of, of session reports. Thank you very much for today and hear from you soon. Bye.